Hello, this is a, um, a King Cove DB6 earth anchor. Um, they're really awesome. Um, long story short, instead of an earth auger that you screw into questionable topsoil, you drive this like an arrowhead into the ground, and I'm going down three and a half feet. You pull the rod that you put it down there with, and I found a ground rod to be a better tool than theirs. <laughs> Um, mostly because it doesn't have a, a threaded section in the middle that gets stuck in the ground. And then when you pull that out, you put tension on it, this will flip like this and becomes a very large flat surface. And when you've got gray clay around here, this is not coming out. Now to prep it, what you need to do is run a wire through it, your anchor wire, and put your crimps on it. And that's kind of hard to do one-handed if you're the only guy on the team, which is my case at the moment. So what I've done is I take the earth anchor, I put the, the hitting end in the ground because it kind of mushroom a little bit, and I just put my anchor there. So I walk over, grab me some wire. I put two, count them, two of my uh, crimps on here. These are long crimps because I had them. It doesn't really matter. All right. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can see me making a fool of myself. See, if I had another hand, this would be like nothing. Okay. Then I fold the wire back up through, and I've got something holding the other end for me, so when I do the crimps, I mean, I get good solid crimps. I just wanted to show this as a, if you're using these anchors, which are really stellar anchors uh, for holding down corner posts or uh, posts that are in a dip, you don't want them coming up. These anchors work really well. Um, this one is rated for 1,100 pounds of tension. I believe it. I'm really torquing on my tensile, high tensile wire that I'm using. So um, it works just fine. I recommend you use a ground rod instead of buying their tool because you can use it as a ground rod when you're done. But you could also drive deeper because obviously the poles are long um, into whatever soils you have. But this little trick with a short, you know, a four foot section of ground rod is a third hand and it's really handy. So uh, the DB6 Earth Anchor from Kenkov uh, totally rocks. It's a very nice anchor solution. It's easy to install. It really is easy to install, and uh, I'll show you a little later. I'll do another video on how I finish the installation. So that's it.